All right, so let's, let's go over gold. Let's, this is how we catch the wrongly positioned traders. This is our trend chart, okay? So it's the number one chart we use. The beauty of using this chart is that it keeps you on the right side of the market. Um, a lot of traders, what they do is they try to catch a falling knife if the market's in a downtrend or they jump in front of a runaway train. When the market's going up, they'll try to fade the pattern or they'll try to short the market thinking there's divergence or a stochastic rollover or an RSI or some crazy indicator when all you got to do is look for when the wrongly positioned traders are positioned in the market and you want to take the opposite side of retail. Here's how we do it. I have a trend chart built in our templates. This works on all futures, stocks, Forex, OEX, doesn't matter what it is, is that you want to get on the right side of the market. That's half the battle in trading these markets. I don't care what indicator you have. If you're not on the right side, you're going to get run over by the market. So we want to keep on the right side of the market. Okay, We are retracement traders. We only, we only cr do corrective waves or counter trend against the trend around 20% to 15% of the time. We know how to do that with my market profile. Other than that, around 80-85%, we are retracement traders with trend chart direction with my trend chart. The beautiful thing about my trend chart it has a trend filter built into this Renko bar. A lot of Renko bars, they're just plain Renko bars. Plain Renko bars to me are worthless. Minute bars, worthless. Share bars, worthless. Tick charts, worthless etc. until I develop this trend chart. It really keeps me on the right side of the market. How can I know when to get positioned in the market with this trend chart? Very simply is that I have three moving averages on here. Moving averages, like I always tell traders, are worthless by nature. You can't use them for support and resistance. I don't care if you match up a 120-minute chart with a 60-minute with a daily chart with a weekly chart. A lot of traders try to do that, and it's hit or miss. Just it's impossible to trade off support and resistance with moving averages. You also can't trade moving average crossovers because they're way lagging. What you can use them for is trend direction. Now I use them with this uh, with my larger Renko bar for one reason. I have this smaller MA right here, smaller MA that is on our template. What I like to see is you see this open versus close is the body of the candle, not the wicks, not the line that's above and below the price bars. The price above, I mean the wick or the line above and below the boxes, the red and green boxes, that's a high and low of the candle. What I like to do is I like to look at the boxes, the open versus close. And as long as my candle is above, as long as my candle is above my smaller MA and it has not closed the body of the candle below, it can, it can, it can, break through it, it just can't close below it by 90% of the candle. If it doesn't close 90% of the candle on my smaller MA because I have a trend filter built into my Renko bar, very unique trend filter, then I'm going to keep it inside the market. So if you're a gold trader, since midnight, you have not did nothing but buy retracements. If you took any sells since midnight for the last nine hours of trading, if you've taken any shorts on gold for the last nine hours of trading, then you are wrong. You are wrongly positioned in the market and the market should eat you alive because you are wrongly positioned. So how can we tell to catch these wrongly positioned counter trend traders that use stochastics for divergence and all this funny stuff? How can we get in on a retracement when they are going against the trend? There's two ways I really like to do it. I really like to do this. If the market will go back to midnight, we'll move forward. What I like to do is if I get space in between my open versus close, the body of the candle, in between my trend filter and also my smaller MA, it tells me that the market's in a hard move up, that I'm looking for a retracement buy if it comes back down and tests it. Right there at that level was a retracement buy. That's the first retracement buy that we saw to get in because the market was screaming up on gold. An arrow fired right there on my Fibonacci arrows. You want to take that long. When these bars are ticking, you'll see them tick, 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 tick down. We had one on gold this morning also, I mean crude, to give us a long. When they're ticking at your bar, if it comes down to the smaller MA, look for an arrow to fire there. The second way to do it is you can look for a win the wrongly position counter trend traders in the market. 
these are these spots right here. If I'm in a hard uptrend and I'm above all three MAs, that's the best possible position I can be in in any market. If I'm in my above my smaller MA, we got space. So if it comes down and touches my smaller MA, intra bar, and I get an arrow on my five or three sim, that is a buy. Like this one over here, we had some arrow buys this morning that were buys after news. But an easy one to look at is when these red bars print. Once I get this red bar, because I have a trend filter built in my Renko bar, once that red bar prints, I'm looking for a retracement buy. So I know as a trader that, and this happened on crude yesterday, it happened the day before on crude, we had four big trades yesterday like this, the day before. I know when this red bar prints, I'm going to catch some wrongly positioned traders on a retracement. As we retrace down, I got an arrow that fired right here at the low. Then the market came back up, green, green. Remember, it's got to be a 90% candle close. That's not a 90% body of the candle. Still going up. Then I got a red bar that prints again. I got the rolling position retail counter trend traders coming in the market again, thinking they're smarter than the market. I'm looking for a retracement buy. I'm trying to buy. Arrow fires here right at the low. Then we're moving back up. Move, 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 move. Back up, back up. Arrow fires here on a 3 sim. Arrow fires here on a 3 sim. Two more fired. At a retracement, got an arrow long there. Look how I'm sticking to one side of the market. Arrow fire there. Then we got a rolling position traders, news prints. Rolling position traders trying to fade the news, short the news. Red bar prints, arrow fires here right at the low again. And we got another continuation pattern to the upside. So you had one, two, three, four, five, six buy on dips. I actually arrow fired here too. Seven buys with all position to one side of the market. But if you look at the small micro frame like a 233 tick or a minute chart or a two-minute chart or a three-minute, minute charts are way too lagging to trade, uh, in my opinion. Then you're going to get smoke because you, it's lagging by nature. This trend filter will pick it up. My trend filter will catch all the big moves because my trend filter is built into the Rinko bar. All you got to do is follow the small MA. If it's 90% candle above and closing, which it has been since midnight, the last nine hours have been buy dip, buy dip, buy dip. Just by doing that alone, it keeps you on the right side of the market. And that's half the battle. So that's what we have to do. We have to make sure we keep on the right side of the market. Okay, hey, good job, Earl, today. Good job, bud. We gotta keep on the right side. So that's how you use a trend chart to catch the wrongly positioned traders. If it closes red reversal bar, I mean, red, red candle close, you know you got counter trend traders that are wrongly positioned. Look for the buy. Look for the arrow. So you can time this way ahead of time by knowing when it's going to get you long in the market. Now, if it's screaming up like this and you don't get any red reversal bars, that's okay. As long as we get a dip, we get an arrow here too. As long as I get a retracement buy to the MA, smaller MA, we had one on crude that just happened at 19 this morning, it went all the way to 50 here a second ago with the arrow fire right at the low on a retest of HVA. Same scenario though, trend chart set it all up. 